Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to a revised Tier 4 Galactic Legend Leia Unlock. Um, this is a kind of a bittersweet video for me. I was not really wanting to do this, um, but I noticed that I, I've, I have very recently, and, and very recently, started getting a whole lot of very, very negative feedback about my previous videos. So I changed the title and I said, my advice may be wrong here with a warning, that's not enough. So I've changed the thumbnail. Um, and and it's and I don't I don't I don't know I don't know um, I, I'm gonna try to explain why people are losing. See, this is in the last three months. I know I've just picked a few at random. A bunch of these people are like, I lost, I lost, I lost. And RNG happens, and I talk about that in my previous video. But I did say you don't even need mods. It's so easy. But some people have felt the need to be utterly vulgar, rude and put all the blame on their ineptitude and failures on my shoulders. And I am a quite a sensitive person, honestly. I mean, like, look at my gaming name, a gerbil. Gerbil, I'm not the raptor. I am not the, the Tyrannosaurus. I'm a flippin' mouse, right? A gerbil. I am a very sensitive person. And so when I get comments like that, it really hurts. And I got baited and I kind of laid into that person. Um, and I And I don't really regret it. Because when you lose a match, when you lose a thing in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, folks, that's on you. It doesn't matter how many videos you watch, it's on you. You are the one who pushed the button. You are the one who, who clicked the, the play orders. You are the one that, that set the mods. You are the one that chose the lineup or whatever. It's on you. It's not on the content creator. I have... I took Clone War Chewie to almost, almost to Relic level. I put him like gear 12 and two thirds um, because I watched a great video for an Arnold showing how Clone War Chewie in the right conditions can do an absurd amount of damage. Do I regret that gear? Yes, 100%. Do I blame Arnold for that? No, not at all. I don't know how many times I've watched Bit Dynasty or Scribe's Galactic Challenge videos where they absolutely plow through somebody and I can't repeat it, right? There is so much variability in this game between mods, strategy, um, turn orders, etc., etc. You, your mileage is going to vary. So now that my rant is out of the way, let me explain how to win. Because what we're watching right now is the bare minimum level. This is a Relic 5 Bosch, which is what you have to have to unlock. Her mods are plus 83 speed. It's rubbish mods. They're five dot mods. One of them is blue, five or gold. She is not optimized in the slightest. Does not have all of her Zetas. Doesn't have the Omicron. This is the bare minimum. This is the bare minimum. Here's how it works. Turn one, before you turn one, turn zero, stun Boba Fett. Stun him. If you stun anyone else, you made your first mistake. Next, go after, just gun down Mob Enforcer. Boom, 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 boom. Throw bombs on Mob Enforcer. Pew, pew, Mob Enforcer. You're not gonna stun Mob Enforcer, but try anyway. Allow Boba Fett to take his first turn. He will almost 90% do that AOE, I think. I think, could be wrong. And when he does, hopefully Han Solo is going to pew pew back in response. Then when Han Solo gets another opportunity, stun Boba Fett again so he doesn't execute. After that, Gamgard is nothing. Really, don't, don't even waste my time asking about Gamgard. Phase two, go straight at Mob Enforcer. All in on Mob Enforcer. What you do not want to do is Hans shrug. That's it, folks. Don't shrug. It is a wasted turn. And, and a lot of people in comments pointed out that I did not mention that in my first video. And you are right. Because in my gerbil, feeble, little, teeny, tiny mind here in Shanghai, China, where I live, I had no expectation that anybody would do the shoulder shrug. I'm sorry. That's a failure on me, and I own that. That's my bad. But I had no expectation. Look, at relic levels, you don't need critical chance up. You should already be critting. Your, your crit should already be like, especially on Han, it should already be 90 plus over 100%. It's like, and then like, it's like, it's like 
my murder bears. It drives me nuts when I see people putting critical chance mods on Wicket or Nisa. Like, Nisa enters territory wars at 200% critical chance. Read the kits, okay? So the shoulder shrug, what does it do? It gives him 50% turn meter. Okay, it is his turn now. That is effectively passing your turn with a 50% bonus towards the next one. Cool. It gives him crit chance up, which is irrelevant here. It gives you evasion up, and you know what? The enemies don't evade at this level. Not without an evasion datacron, and the AI does not have an evasion datacron. So forgive me, I am ranting because I'm in a very bad mood today. I did not anticipate a single person would evade. So I'm not calling anyone dumb or anything like that for doing it. It is just a, a fact that in my seven, six and a half years of this game, I never do the shoulder shrug. Now, there is once or twice in these earlier matches where I do use it because of the, cert the situation I'm in, all I'm wanting to do is reduce my cooldowns or pass the turn purposefully. There is reasoning for it, but in this event, honestly, you should not do that. Like, don't shoulder shrug. Don't. It's called never tell me the odds is the move. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Right? So now what are we watching? I, I beat it. This is my alt account that we're watching right now. My alt account is 4.1 million GP. 4.1 million GP. My mods in that entire account are crap because it's like a year and a half old account. I don't have good mods. I just unlocked Leia today. I went through this battle six consecutive times with the minimum requirements and did not lose until I shoulder shrugged and the light bulb went off and I was like, oh. So folks, heed my advice this time, please. No shoulder shrugging. Don't, never tell Han the odds. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do that about ability, all right? What's interesting about the video we're watching right now, this particular one that we just watched and this next one that we're watching and the next two, is I have no mods on my Relic 5, Bosch, Leia, who is also missing a Zeta. Okay, so so I have I have the Relic 5, I have the minimum power level with no mods without both Zetas. And I win six consecutive battles. Do, do you see why I might have been so arrogant as to think that this is an easy tier? Part of it is also experience in that I know the turn order. I know that when Mob Enforcer has three thermal detonators on her and two red bars of health, I can shift my target to hit the Gam Guard because I'm on Bosha's next turn, she's gonna throw the AOE bomb that's gonna auto detonate the thermal detonators and kill the the Mob Enforcer without directly targeting her, right? I, I have some experience and like any content creator, doesn't matter if we're talking about Doth, Darth Loquitor, excuse me, I just totally fumbled that name, or if we're talking about Arnold or the or the the previous great Cubs fan Han, who I still think is great. I really miss his channel. You know, it doesn't matter. Every content creator omits details in our videos by choice. No, because there's so many different things to say. It is, it is wholly impossible to give all the information we want in every single video that, that without missing something. Unless we, we take hours and hours and hours and make a, a full-on PowerPoint presentation, which I sometimes do, though, disclaimer, I use Apple Keynote, I hate PowerPoint. Please don't hold that against me if anyone loves PowerPoint. I think PowerPoint's fabulous for what it does, but I think Keynote does it better, especially for media, but I digress. Every video we make is subject to real-time recording unless we put hours of planning in it. And my little humble channel with 6,100 subscribers does not earn me enough money to justify hours upon hours of planning for a video that might make anywhere from six to $25 in revenue like honestly folks then the u.s government takes out 20 to 30 percent in taxes on top of that so it is not worth it for even even people with 25,000 subs it is not worth their time 
to map out every imaginable detail and script it all out to make sure it is flawless. So folks, when you leave a comment and you say that this is expletive, please pause for a second and consider that there is a human being on the other side of the screen and keyboard who honestly is just sharing in the hopes that it helps, right? Approach the video with positive intention, especially in our little Swaga community, because that's all this is, is positive intention. No creator in this community that I'm aware of is out to get you. And when you just use an expletive to describe the quality of their work, it is just belittling of, of the people in the community and yourself. And I called that person a kid and I stand by it. All right, here we go. Here's the shoulder shrug followed by the, the death. All right, it's coming up any minute. So we're gonna get a couple Boombas, little thermal detonators here on Han and there they go. Now, can you still lose straight up to, yep, see, boom, shoulder shrug, instant dead. Had I attacked, he would have done some damage, health steal would have kicked in, he would have had more life, and very likely he should have survived that. I repeated this three more times, FYI. Every time I shoulder shrugged, Han died. Every time. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, I hope that this video <laughs> is more informative. And I hope that next time anyone out there considers ranting and trashing somebody or whatever, pause and think and just remember they're human too. All right. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.